to serve man. Matthew 20:28. 20, For even I, the Son of Man, came here not to be served, but to serve others, and to give my life as a ransom for many. While reading this verse, it reminded me of the old Twilight Zone episode, To Serve Man. To recap the episode, aliens come to Earth and say they want to bring peace and prosperity to Earth. They give the Earth all the technology they need to have peace and to end hunger and sickness. They leave a book that no one can read because it is in their language. Codebreakers try to figure it out, but all they can figure out is the title of the book, which is To Serve Man. As it turns out, the aliens had other intentions other than goodwill. The book was a cookbook on how to serve man for dinner. While these aliens really only came to earth to serve themselves, that wasn't the case for Christ. Christ came to give us to give of himself and to bring us true peace. Many of Christ's followers wanted him to overthrow the Roman Empire and establish a new kingdom. But Christ didn't come to be a king on earth and to be served by man. Instead, he came to be a sacrifice for all mankind by dying on a cross and taking away our sins. This verse also has special meaning to me in that it is the foundation of my management and leadership style. I strive to be a servant leader, which means I see my role as a leader and manager as someone who serves others instead of expecting others to serve me. Jesus is the ultimate example of servant leadership because he didn't come to earth to be served by man, but instead to serve man. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us show concern for others before ourselves. Let our love for you be reflected through the kindness and compassion that we show our families, our friends, and to all who need your healing touch. Help us to serve others as Jesus served us. We pray this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.